this week's children's focus, we are going to be talking about, maybe I'll leave that as a surprise for now. I wanna play a game with you guys. I am going to show you some pictures and in them I have some hidden images and I want you guys to find them. So let's play along with that and then I will tell you what we're talking about. Can you find the dinosaur? He's in there somewhere. There he is. Did you get him? Okay, this time I want you to find the dog on a skateboard. A skateboarding dog. I bet you all found him. He's pretty cute. Okay, our next one is a trailer or a tractor. Can you find a tractor in there? <sighs> right at the bottom. I don't know if I could trick you out there. This one's hard. Can you find joy from inside out? Joy from inside out. Ooh, there she is. She was pretty hidden. All right. Can you guess what story we're going to read from our Spark Storybook Bible today? Any guesses what it could be? Has to maybe do with hiding or searching and finding. It's Jonah and the big fish. Let's see what this has to do about hiding and finding. One day when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought. I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and walked away from Nineveh. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get on a boat to take him even farther away. Ah, Jonah yawned. All that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried. What is going on? They woke Jonah up. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said. So throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly, the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah. Here comes a big fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside of the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed, help me, God. I'm sorry. Finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said to him. And they believed him and changed the way they were living. God was happy that the people of Nineveh were now living as God wanted. Okay, that was a pretty crazy story about Jonah being eaten by a fish. But what was interesting to me was the reason why he was eaten by a fish and punished by God. It was because he chose not to listen. He thought that he could hide from God and that if he just didn't listen and went his own way, God wouldn't be able to find him. Have you ever tried to hide from God? If I put this blanket over my head, do you think God knows where I am? Hmm. I think he does. I think God knows exactly where I am. Just like in our game earlier, we were able to find all of the objects I asked you to find. Some of them might have been a little tricky and a little bit harder to find, but eventually we found them all, and that's what God's like. Sometimes it might take him a bit longer to find you and talk to you, but he always comes and he always will find you. I also like in this story when we talk about the whale or the fish eating Jonah. Um, did you know that it's actually probably not possible for you to be eaten by a fish? Well, so a whale. I looked up whales. So whales with baleen teeth, which are the ones that eat the little krill, they suck in the water through their baleen 
chi tusks. They're like little, they're like, they're made out of the same stuff as our fingernails, but they're little things and they suck in the water and their little teeth catch the fish and then that's what they eat. So they eat a lot of plankton and a little tiny things. Those ones can't eat a human, but whales that have teeth, like actual teeth, like a sperm whale, can technically swallow a human. You might not be able to survive because they have so many stomachs full of acid once you're in there, but they eat animals like big giant squids. So it is possible that an anim a human being could fit in there. I am going to provide you with a link down below or up above, depending on which social media we are on right now. And it is how to draw your own whale. And I want you to follow those instructions, draw your own whale. And I want you to put a little dot when you're done of where you think Jonah was in that whale and where you think God found him. Show that God loves and looks for us always in the strangest of places. He will always find us, even if we're in the stomach of a whale or a fish. And he will look out for us and take care of us. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to talking with you soon. Have a good one, guys.